Okay, then. We've got work to do. Lead the way. I suppose I should have seen this coming. She's become more and more erratic since she came to Gotham. I hardly know what she's going to do next. Harley? No. Director Waller. I'm not used to her keeping me out of the loop. I have to admit, a part of me was sort of hoping we'd be taking the Batmobile. Not that this car isn't great. But, you know... It's no Batmobile. Well, maybe next time. Oh. So there's going to be a next time. You've put a lot of time and energy into this crusade. I prefer to think of it as a mission. Do you ever question it? Not the mission. I mean, the methods. The clandestine nature of what you do. The fear tactics. The... Occasional brutality. No judgment. Just curious. I've done what I had to do. I don't always enjoy it, but it's part of being... Batman. If I don't question it, I'm as bad as the criminals I fight. That makes sense. I'm having a bit of an existential crisis. Existential crisis? <sighs> yeah. It's... Waller. Why wouldn't she want us to know what Freeze told you? Things have gotten gray recently. Too gray. I don't know if I'm on the right side anymore. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up. You should trust your instincts. They're what make you good at your job. I'm glad to hear you say that. Bothered me when she allowed the pack to obtain Riddler's body. Wait, that was intentional? I've had deep reservations about Waller. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that out loud. She cannot know this. Any of it. Yeah, here's the problem with that. I think she already does. Hey. You sure you're okay to do this? Absolutely. You know, I looked through Gordon's case files about Harley. Her father suffered from mental illness that eventually drove him to suicide. An illness with a strong hereditary link. It's very possible she wants the serum to prevent the same thing happening to her. If she fails, she's got one deadly plan B. <laughs> Don't sound so worried, Batman. I'm here to help. We're almost there. Harley's back is against the wall. If she has Riddler's blood, she'll be incredibly dangerous. You don't need to tell me. She tried to freeze me to death. Then we're on the same page. Harley. She must be gone already. Do you think that means she already has the vials? I don't know, but it's worth a look. Maybe she got scared off before she could find them. C4. Plastic explosive. Only a little, though. Must be remnants from something... bigger. I don't remember Bane making bombs, and it doesn't match Freeze's M.O. Who then? Harley? John? Even money on both. Pl 
blood, but was this here before? Dried. Must be from when Harley shot Bane's men. Damn it. What is it? They're gone. The vials are gone. C4 and stolen blood. So how do those two things add up? So... Keep looking. Hey, Avesta, does this look familiar? We call it a liminal device, a not quite as powerful phalanx key. Some agency field ops are issued one, and if they left it, they must have been rushed. An agency team has been here. It could have been used to access Freeze's container with the vials. Side here, someone's damaged this. Oh. oh, God, I thought this thing was supposed to preserve him. Obviously, it failed. Right, decomposition is actually accelerated, they purposefully disabled the capsule. If that's the case, then they were trying to destroy the body. It's textbook asset denial, but it's some sloppy work. They were moving fast. Too fast. The rapid decay. I wonder if that's a side effect of the virus, or being in that capsule, or both. If Harley decides to release the virus, that sample may be the most valuable weapon we have. Alfred, I did a bioscan of Riddler's corpse. I'm sending the data to you. The body is breaking down, so do your best with it. Received, Bruce. It's... Oh my. This may take a bit of time. So, Waller takes the blood and has Riddler's body destroyed. That would make her the only player who could create a viable Project Lotus sample. Having all the pieces to the puzzle. Oh my god. Bruce. The Pact all had problems. Medical problems they needed solving. And if Waller's the solution, she can make them work for her. She's not above using leverage to get people under her thumb. I mean, look what she did with my identity. Harley. The virus. Where is she, John? Where's Harley? I don't think we've been formally introduced. Doe. John Doe. <laughs> you seem kind of familiar. I asked you a question, John. I heard you, Bruce. I do understand English. She was here. Wait, she was here? 
Yeah. Where is she now, John? This is important. You got some real nerve. You know that? Buddy! Remember? The cafe. Just manipulate her, John. Then I stuck my neck out for you. Way out! Bane nearly ripped my head off. And for what? She flew the coop! And I have nothing. You steered me wrong. At every turn. Every bad piece of advice. Everything blew up in my face. Would you stop feeling sorry for yourself? Well, gosh, thanks. We so much better. No point. It's over. The pact. The dream. Us. Not yet, it's not. She's still out there with a deadly virus in a city full of innocent people. Call me when you got something I care about. It always surprises me how heavy guns are. This was hers. It's all I have left. John, stop. Please. Stop! Stop! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, that's not a bad idea. Well, it's been real. What are you doing, John? Leaving. There's nothing left for me here. A lot of bad memories. And a weird smell. John, I understand you want to run. I've run before. But problems, they just come with you. No matter how far you go. Nope. Pretty sure I can get away from that smell. Damn it, John. Listen to me. I need to find Harley. I don't want to do this anymore. Not for you. Not for her. Certainly not for Gotham. John, please. This is important. I know it hasn't been easy for us, but I am your friend. Okay, buddy. Look, the agency was here. They took the blood. I was up here. In a very dark place. They didn't find me. But Harley did. I told her what happened to Riddler. She gave me this. And where do you think Miss Quinn is now? We'd like to find her sooner rather than later. I don't want to find her. My heart can't take another kicking. I don't ever see her again. She ruined me. I, I can't. You need closure, John. Face to face. Nothing else is going to make you feel better. I promise you that. I just can't say no to you, Bruce. You gotta keep an eye on this guy. That Wayne Charm gets him every time. You sure know how to spin things. All the right ways to uh, twist my arm. It's going to take me a few hours to find her. I have to check a few places, do some things. Okay, we'll come with you. <laughs> no, you won't. There will be plenty of time for John and Bruce later. This is... I need to do this alone. I'll call you when I find something. Wait, hold on. We really like your help, John. Are you sure you won't reconsider us coming with you? I did. And it's a hard pass. It's okay. Go. Bruce, let's talk about this. He'll come through. He's done it before. It's funny. When you first walked through that door, I honestly thought you came here to check on me. I'm going to track down those vials in the agency's cold storage. Be careful. Thanks. Alfred, how's the bioscan analysis going? Nearly complete. 
I should have it ready for you when you arrive. I'm on my way. There? I'm back. I'm taking over at the computer. Please don't. Al. Al, can you hear me? Alfred? Oh, uh, uh, is it, what's, what was the matter? Uh, Thomas, uh, let's, let's chat. Uh, now's the time. It won't be long. There's so much to do. Shh, 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 Alfred, Alfred, it's just a dream. Uh, Oh, well, I will not be quiet, Thomas. Martha and Master Bruce aren't safe with those people in the house. No, you, you need to think of your family. Please, please wake up. Bruce, I... Where, where, where am I? Easy, easy. You're in the cave. Take your time, think back, and tell me exactly what happened. Oh, no, it was... it was nothing. I was... I was working and I felt... I felt dizzy for a moment. Uh, I'm, I must have been more exhausted than I realized. Uh, and, well, basically that's all there is to it. First it's your hand shaking and now you're... you're passing out. We, we can't keep ignoring this. You need to be looked at before it gets worse. Uh, oh, Ted. Hey, 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 be careful. Oh. Oh. Thank you, Bruce. I'll just catch my breath. Just give me a moment, please. It's all nonsense. What is? Freeze's magic cure all. It doesn't work as intended. Take a look. Lotus. Megavirus. Only one known survivor. Riddler. Freeze thinks his blood is now a key to unlocking Lotus's true potential. The bioscan of Riddler's body, I used the analysis you sent me to simulate its interaction with the virus. And the bat computer promptly found holes in Freeze's calculations. It appears that Lotus can be synthesized into a restorative agent for the human body. A remarkable one. Well, Freeze got that part right, but... But as soon as Lotus repairs any physical problems, it causes irreparable damage to the subject's brain chemistry. It drives you insane. It's what Riddler meant when he said, I wasn't always like this. All of these people, all of them trying to kill each other for something that will make them as deranged as he was in the end. We all should know by now that miracles come with a cost. Lotus is nothing more than a poison. Harley's already insane, Alfred. I doubt she's worried about taking it up a notch. Yes, you're probably right. Although, if she wants the serum to avoid what happened to her father, well, <laughs> it's certainly ironic. Run the simulation again, then forward the readings to Special Agent Imana Vesta. Ah, I already ran it several times myself. Uh, I, I wanted to, to be thorough. A silly notion, I know. My problems are purely psychological. My 
real cure is a very long vacation. Somewhere far away from Gotham, a place where the sun actually comes to visit. Then let's get you to a nice beach, huh? Or wherever you want to go. Ooh, the possibilities. That'll take some thinking. Avesta. I read your report. The serum makes the whole thing beyond dangerous. Did you find out where Waller's keeping Riddler's blood? Yeah. She's got the area on lockdown, but I think I can get myself in. And then I'm taking these things off the table. Permanently. Agreed. But be careful. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm trusted here. I won't let Waller turn the Agency back into something like Sanctus, Bruce. The vials have to go. Good luck. Let's get you somewhere more comfortable. Oh, Bruce. Uh, Tiffany's up there. She's probably wondering where I hurried off to. Uh, I'm sorry, Al, but we can't risk you falling again. Very well. Oh, we, we mustn't keep Tiffany worrying any longer. She's done quite enough of that the past few days. Ready? <clears throat> I'm afraid that's all we do. Worry the ones closest to us. Okay, yes, thank you. The doctor is on her way. How are you feeling? Well, better. A little more rest and some tea and I'll be as good as new. Make that a lot more rest, Alfred. You're hurt. The only thing hurt is my pride. Which, sadly, even the doctor won't be able to fix. You can put up a strong front, but I'm not leaving your side until the doctor arrives. Got it? Understood. Be straight with me. How worried should I be? You don't need to sugarcoat it. I just need facts. I'll let Alfred tell you himself. I told you, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, it's just... There's a lot more to worry about right now than me. Well, there is something else. I know this isn't the best time, but I need your advice. Director Waller's people reached out after the incident at your office. They said they were impressed with my skill set. We got to talking, and well, they offered me a job with the agency. The training would start immediately, but it'd be a big step for me. I thought you might have some insight. I've been working with the Agency, so let me warn you. Waller's dangerous. Yeah, I've done my research. I know she's got a bad rep. But maybe we need dangerous people for dangerous times. This isn't what your father would have wanted for you. I think he'd be proud. I'd be using my skills to fight crime. To protect others from losing their loved ones. Wayne Enterprises? hard there, Bruce. I see my dad in every hallway. I hear his laugh around every corner. And you, you're not around. I'm left to myself, with shadows and ghosts and secrets. Waller's tough, I know that. But she is ready to take me under her wing. She knows how to get things done. You're smart and tenacious. The Agency would be lucky to have you. Are you sure about this, Bruce? It's what she wants, Alfred. It's decided then. I'll hand in my notice first thing. And I'll tell Director Waller I accept.
I have to go. We'll be waiting right here. <laughs>